Hey, it's a friendly fire show. Uh, if you were paying attention to last week, this is the same, or it's not even a week, part one. It's, we're not doing part one and part two. This is episode 174. It's a continuation of last discussion. Mm. I'm one of your hosts. It's clearly a different time period because we're wearing different shirts. I'm one of your hosts, Steve from Survivor. I'm Ben from Survivor. We, uh, it's still part two. It's, it's part two of the discussion. New episode because we need to pad our way to 200, which is still a distant long ride away. Yes. And mm. we have new beers. I went to the bathroom. It's been days. So I don't know why I'm telling you this yeah, information, it's, it's, dear uh, listeners. It's next week now. Uh, it's to recap. Not, because you're right. If we do this, if this comes out the week after the last one, it's mid E3 and we've got other ones to go. So it's going to be like the day after. Days later. It might uh, even well, be half a day later, but whatever. Uh, it's the weekend or something now. Whatever it is, uh, we're excited to be back. Always good to be back. Good exactly. to have you with us for the ride. Thank you. Uh, I'm, st- I'm still in lockdown, man. Um, yeah. right, let's talk about that. Uh, Quick recap. We discussed uh, Xbox, what we expect with Bethesda. We discussed Nintendo, what we expect. Although I don't know if we finished that conversation, but we... I think, I think we did. We mostly no. talked about the Switch Pro. We didn't talk about any games that we expect from Nintendo, but never mind. We talked about uh, Breath of the Wild 2, which is, which is definitely a game. That's the main uh, one. Super Mario Golf Super Rush comes out technically after the, the conference. But they won't show that stuff. Exactly. Just, uh, yeah. And other games coming out this year. So a WarioWare game based on their uh, mail out about what you pay for it. Hmm. And other just things? Give me Metroid Prime Trilogy HD. Rumor is it's been made years ago. I just want to play that game in HD without motion controls for any of them. I get that it's tough for Metro Prime 3 because it was made with motion controls, but they've shown with Skyward Sword it can be done. You can go back to normal controls. So I uh, would love to get that. I would actually pay full price for that. They just don't want to... Nintendo don't like getting money off old games, which is weird. That's a good segue because what I do think we're going to see at E3 that's not in the show notes is a bunch of remasters, remakes, re-releases. That is what 2021 is. Uh, you've played a lot of Mass Effect. You've already got all the game score from the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I finished. Um, I'm, I'm finished not playing it, it again. Matt, Matt has played two and three, and he's now moved on to Andromeda. And I'm you're not, still playing. Yeah, I'm still on one. So full disclosure, I, I've dabbled with Mass Effect, but I never really got into it. And I never played the first one at all. Uh, and I played, I played two on like PC in the brief window that I played games on PC. And I played three, you know, like this on Wii U. So, and I didn't, I didn't finish it. I barely played it. Um, so I, yeah. have, I have thoughts as to why, but it will continue on. Anyway. Yeah. That's just one of many re-releases that I expect to play this year. We've got, uh, well, Skyward Sword is a big one for Nintendo. I'm looking forward to playing that without motion controls. Um, and I'm sure they'll charge me full price. Um, weirdly, Sonic Colors is coming out again. So that was a Wii game uh, from 2006. So it's like bloody the Wii's back. Um, I, I can see why they picked that one because it was a game a bunch of people who weren't on Wii weren't have played. And it was, I think, when Sonic was still okay in 3D, it was kind of like, where's this going before it went real bad? Yeah. Uh, no, it went real bad with the launch of the Xbox 360, not the first Xbox, actually. Xbox 360 it launched with a Sonic game, I think, that was awful. Uh, and then it was, yeah. Anyway. Um, or hot take the only good sonic games are the first three and then everything else has been garbage since but that's beside the point let's continue on i would love a sonic adventure one and two remake but it <laughs> will never happen um oh uh, yeah i expect to see a bunch more it's yeah. just the easy thing to do it's it's easy to do and... well even though we don't have oh, even though we do have crisis remastered we we have crytech dipping back mm. into its back catalog with remasters of two and three repackaged with one as the crisis trilogy so yeah it's we'll, we'll get more of that i don't like what other franchises haven't been remade like bioshock's been done um i'm just trying to think of like iconic big it's giant heaps. ones like uh, halo's been done the one that always comes up and it will be very hard to do in like polls and stuff is the simpsons hit and run which was fun it was the simpsons crazy taxi basically uh and i would play that again if they remastered it and they gave it proper controls and it was you know by modern day standards but who has that Simpsons license now? I don't know. EA published it. So if they still have it, no idea. It hasn't been a Simpsons game for ages. So Disney maybe. would. They, they make a lot of games now, don't they? Yeah, that's that's mm. like actually like weirdly the one thing that they've pulled out of, not jumped into. Um, um, well, Nintendo has re-released a lot of games, but they've barely done any HD remakes. So they've only done two. The two Zelda games are done in HD. And then they ported and upscaled three Mario games. They're not really remakes or remasters, just upscaled. That was still good. Um, 
and that's it. They've done any. So they're the coal catalog is available, but they don't seem too keen on it. Uh, wow. But when yeah, Met- the, the big publishers have done heaps. Like EA would be scraping the barrel. Like they got to burn out Paradise. They remastered that. Like they, they can't have that much left now they've done Mass Effect. Um, but they'll find something. Well, my joke was going to be if Metroid Prime remastered ever comes out, that motion controls will be mandatory, but you can buy an amiibo, which will let Uh-oh. you touch the amiibo to turn off motion controls. Yeah, and if you that's... don't know what that joke is based from, that's a Zelda remaster thing anyway. That sucks. That's one of the worst things Nintendo's done in years, and they've done some terrible things. They, <laughs> they, this is their third HD remaster ever. They've removed the motion controls. They're selling it at full price 10 years later. They actually do a quality of life fix by putting in fast travel, which that game desperately needs, and they lock it behind a $35 piece of plastic. Like, you son of a bitch. Uh, (laughs) Okay, let's move on now. I think we've covered Hmm. Nintendo over two episodes now. Two episodes, two distinctly separate episodes. Uh, What do you think we'll see from Ubisoft? Hmm. So they're always a big player at E3, and they've actually announced Ubisoft Forward, so it's definitely happening. They normally, I mean, their big their thing is normally just dance. That's how we always open. Uh, it's always so loud and weird. And then we've talked about this on, I don't know, probably six past episodes. And I love uh, it. But that's yeah. beside the point. But I'm really falling asleep because it's like, in my mind, it's the middle of the night, but it's like 1 p.m. in LA. And it's like, so, oh, because it's such a dark theater. Uh, anyway, I can't keep falling asleep to Just Dance because they can't keep doing it. Uh, I think they will show that. I think that's one of their many games. Um, Another remake, they, the Sands of Time remake from Ubisoft that was meant to be out by now disappeared because it seemed to be going so poorly. Yep. Being made by Ubisoft India, not to comment on the state of the world at the moment, I'm not sure that India is the best place to be making a game at the minute. So yeah. I don't know well, how that's going to be going. And and COVID situation aside, just from the look of it, I'm not sure it was a great place to start the development of that game because it looked mm. like it was probably like 20 years old. Which is Sorry. what the original game nearly is. So well, yeah, so yeah. remaster or remake. Uh, hopefully, we see that looking way better. That'd be a good little resurgent story. Um, what is you? So there'll be Assassin's Creed. There'll be an Assassin's like. Creed. There'll be Riders Republic, which is that new like steep game, but it's not just steep things. It's like biking and extreme sports. Yep. There'll be the Division Heartland. Heartland. The free-to-play standalone division game that was announced not too long ago. Trying to get in the war zone territory, but I don't see it doing as well. There'll be a bit of um, Far Cry 6, which we just had a giant deep dive on. So probably I don't mm-hmm. think a lot with Far Cry 6 because I think they just did they just like they shot just their load lot. basically. Um, Good thing they didn't release that when they were going to in their bonkers release schedule last year, where they had. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, uh, followed by Immortals, which we've talked about how good it is, but how quickly it was forgotten, like a week later. And then they were meant to have uh, Sands of Time come out a couple of weeks after that in January, and then just after that in February, five, I five, thought it six. was April. It must have got delayed again then till April, because yeah. la- the last time I knew it was April. But yeah, like take all the time you Wait, need. Crazy. Just do a good game. Do a good game and don't. No, and they've given us, we've talked about this many times, the Ubisoft map bloat is a problem because you, you play one game, like just played Valhalla, loved it. Uh, and I did play Immortals only a few months later and love that again, but just dealing with the Ubisoft map too many times in a year is tough. So, well, and, and you could do it again if you want to play Watch Dogs Legion and it's like no, equally that's, that's as That's the giant. one I forgot to mention just then. Yeah. And I actually, if you look at my previews from years ago, Watch Dogs Legion was one of my most hyped games. And I went home after that E3 and I played Watch Dogs 2, which I'd skipped and I loved it. Yeah. I haven't played Legion yet because of the, I just uh, had too much Ubisoft. So yeah, glad they delayed Far Cry 6. Jump back in between now and then because it is it's actually yeah. pretty good. And now there's still zombies in it. So like great. Break. But that's stuff that's already out. Uh, what else are we gonna get from movies off? We're gonna get a splinter cell game, because like come on, like we've it. said this if every we year. Surely it's gonna happen one time. Yeah, Surely. I would and, love it, it. And, and not not a splinter cell cameo in like a mobile <laughs> title or a bullshit this or a th- like just an actual proper legitimate splinter cell game surely by now splinter cell game that is relatively uh kind of like hitman style in that you you do have scope of where you can go but you're kind of channeled along so it's not a massive open world game but you do have choice within the level single player only no wildlands whatever that game was called yeah uh nonsense of here's your squad and it's just annoying uh no online stuff just quality yeah. no open player. world but linear path not linear it doesn't have to be a linear path but like a no, very but like single player based. focused campaign exactly yeah. you can have great levels which is so it's not an open world but it's a relatively open level with choice 
uh, which will be perfect for them to sell. It has been in the past. Like they they had some great games. So or or even just remaster a bloody Splinter Cell game. Just give us something. Just something. Yeah. Well, I miss Splinter had, Cell. They haven't done too many remasters, really. So we've got some Assassin's Creed games redone. Yeah, the um, Far Cry Three. That's about it. Oh yeah, yes, yeah, so um, some. But like, yeah, like put out Blacklist or something. Blacklist was pretty good. I could, was it good? I think hmm. so. What was the What's the best Splinter Cell uh, game? Probably Blacklist and Conviction were the two which are modern. Before that, they're a bit tough to play. Yeah. But yeah, there's, there's scope there. Something new. I mean, Ubisoft has, they have released new franchises, like The Division's relatively new. For Honor was only a few years ago, but I think they need something a bit different. Yeah. Uh, kill, kill the Car one. What the hell was that called? The Crew. Oh, the crew. That's done. That's they no all thanks. do say me. Yeah. Um, is there anything else from Ubisoft that I want to see a sequel for, of? No. Like, I don't want a For Honor 2. That's done. Um, yeah, I just want something new. And like, I would love to. I would love, like you've just said about Splinter Cell. I'd love to see Ubisoft do something that's not just. And I don't think we're gonna get that based on their strategy. Uh, you know, like their declared strategy. Like, I just want like a, a, a tightly focused single player experience for Ubisoft, mm. showing that they can do a narrative rather than a game as a service or a free free to play thing that's just gonna go. But like, that's literally contradictory to what they said they're going to be doing so i think i'm barking up the wrong tree unfortunately yeah. we'll see yeah they're probably the least i've actually enjoyed pretty much every ubisoft uh, e3 show i've been to they always kind of have something which i was like hey that was better than i thought it was going to be i think this year might be the year where just everything compounds and they're kind of like oh here's some stuff you already knew about we're having a bit of a down year so hope i'm wrong um yeah but see, yeah. aforementioned conversation we've had about how the pandemic has basically just like That's just go, destroyed plans. And go back to like, last week's episode. <laughs> be realistic and then hit hit your means. Shoot mm. shoot shoot between your means. That's not a saying anyway. Uh, let's move on and just pretend mm. I've stopped talking and talk about. I guess this is late, but it's it's one of the only conferences that's been confirmed. So like most of E three is going to take place uh, between what like the eighth to the. 15th of june let's say and uh yes. e play ea play uh will take place in in late july i guess uh, the addendum to not the addendum god i just need to stop talking the thing that i need to point out before we talk about ea play is that there'll be a battlefield 6 reveal i think on the 9th of june or somewhere yeah. around there so let's talk about i guess of... battlefield first and then ea play and you talk because i'm so, done again they're officially not at e3 which they haven't been for years but they were to put it in perspective, if you haven't been to the uh, fun playground of downtown LA, uh, you've got the convention center and you've got a bunch of other kind of similar locations pretty close. And EA set up a shop for EA Play like across the road. And then they moved out to Hollywood last time I went. I had to get a train somewhere. Um, but they're kind of like, we're in the area for E3, but we're doing our own thing. We're not officially there. But if you're just watching online, for all intents and purposes, they are. So, and, and we're not taking thing. proper bookings. So if you're a journalist yeah. and want to cover EA Play, just maybe like rock too much work. Rock up to Hollywood and see what you get. Or, or I'll, no, I'll just stay at e, E3 proper where everyone is here mm. and I can get guaranteed bookings. Anyway. I think this is a smart strategy. I think they, in that week of virtually three, they get some coverage because they're going to go all out with Battlefield, their big game. Um, probably... It's weird that Activision haven't announced COD. We talked about that a couple of episodes ago about there's something weird going on there, but they may well announce it somewhere in this week. They're going to be at E3 virtually. They may announce it through the Xbox. I'd say, no, they, they're aligned with Sony now, so they won't announce it there. Yep. They might just do their own reveal somewhere or they might delay it, but either way. Or they do a crazy event in Warzone that, that leads yeah, to a reveal that. of the next game because like they could just ride Warzone until the bank stops accepting money for some reason god Absolutely. i'm done um e3 uh, still uh battlefield i guess uh we're hmm. definitely going to see snoop dogg he's going to be there in some way shape or form he's probably going to sing like a menu log inspired theme song for battlefield the now mm -hmm. yep uh there'll be a smell of weed in the air if you had some sort of like smellow sense thing coming through your live stream viewing device uh what do you think we're going to see from battlefield uh futuristic uh, setting a uh, world war ii-esque setting mm. uh, a modern day setting i think they're going to go back to modern um now i already liked one and five i know a lot of people in the hardcore battle of War community didn't but like being that little different is why i liked it like i kind of 
when three and four came out, I kind of fell off Battlefield for a while because it was like, God, we're in that same space and it was just easier to get into. Um, and then I really like one was hard initially because it was so slow compared to shooters. And that's what I really liked about it. Then two went back to World War II at the time, weirdly enough that so did COD. There's some weird competition going on there. Um, but it was like, it, it sped it up a little, but it was still way slower than like Advanced Warfare where you're bouncing off walls and exoskeletons and all that stuff. So yeah, felt really good. I liked doing one. I think going one then two made sense because they just, it would be hard to have done it the other way around. But now I don't see them just going, here's World War II again. So I think we'll almost definitely go modern day, which is fine. Um, I think I'll do a good job of it. I think DICE have, they've purposely found that more casual zone to get people from COD over um, or even from Apex and stuff like that. So like there were parts of three and four trying to get into that as a casual player that it was tough. Like it was harder to know what to do. People don't really help you out. Uh, I think one and five were more accessible that way. And you're talking pretty much I, from what I assume exclusively mm. from like a multiplayer standpoint. Yeah, correct. Yeah, that's yes. right. I like, I think I like the Battlefield campaigns more than I like the Call of Duty campaigns. Mm. Um, and then when it comes to multiplayer, even like, you know, like despite the, the time that it's set, it's it seems like the, the time to kill in, in, a, in a COD game is just like infinitely faster yeah, than a battlefield it's... game but i don't mind either like is, is the only reason i like playing any of those multiplayer games is because i'm playing with like you and gaetano or someone like you know a group of friends to some extent and it's i have fun in battlefield because i know how to play a battlefield game by now and i have fun in cod because i know how to play a cod game which is generally like very very different and as long different. as there's that distinction i'm happy like regardless of what the what uh it is the squad system works really well in battlefield so you've got 64 players playing this giant map rumor is you know they might go to 128 players to upscale again uh like a pc have, it's on it's set on pc yeah, yeah, uh, yeah probably probably i think so i think so um you having your like little squad of like four or five whatever it is and it's the apex style of you know you just right bumper or left bumper and you kind of say that's where we're going your squad leader if you're not into doing that you can really you know i don't want to be a squad leader anymore uh, and I find most of the time people, at least when it was around launch, like now people are a bit dodgier again. It's been a few years, but, that, you know, when people are really into it, people did follow that. And you kind of had that, we don't need a voice chat. We don't need to do a lot of strategy, but we can still work on this thing together, which the COD community do not do. So I think yeah. that's why it was easy to get into from that point of view. Uh, on the single player, Battlefield 1 and 5 both did kind of like loosely inspired by a real world event. Oh, yeah. narratives it wasn't even a campaign so much as like just it's strung like together stories, stories. Or something. yeah and they they went for the pretty harsh like you know here's like bill smith he died as an 18 year old and like you know kind of hit you home a little bit of what this war a long time ago was about um and of course they were all you know fictionalized versions but all based on real world events so going modern i'm not entirely sure what they do campaign wise and i think that's probably why better build three and fours campaigns i don't think were at that same level as cods like they they made a way to make like modern warfare a more engaging story uh, and just kind of that linear shooter worked well there. Um, and yeah, credit to DICE. They found a way to do it in Battlefield with that real life link that made it different. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what they'll do this year. But like the fact of the matter is though, like despite you and I playing both these things and having like an opinion on both, like that there are mm. absolutely people who will buy like a Battlefield or a COD and a FIFA and a Madden. Like that's their only games for the year. Yeah. And they will they will they will buy a like a FIFA. No, they will buy a, a COD or a Battlefield and play half of the game. Like they won't touch single player or they'll only play single player, and they're completely happy with that. So like. And like, yeah. good, fair enough too. But like, it's yeah, like it's. I'm glad that they're not putting out a yearly Battlefield. I'm, um, you know, like a yearly COD, especially with things like Warzone. I don't know if they're necessary anymore. We'll see how we go. Um, the rest mm. of EA, uh, uh, I, I after have, after have playing all of Mass Effect one, two, and three, and my husband playing Andromeda, um, and like he'd never seen the the teaser trailer that EA put out. God, what like i don't know uh, a year ago half a year ago do you know what i'm talking about just no. random images and shapes and then you see a plan a, 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 a what's it called a, a spaceship land on a planet and a woman picks up a piece of of rubbish from a snow-filled planet and she wipes off 
some of the snow and it's an N7, you know, like oh, yeah. logo yeah. on armor. And then like it, it very much is definitely going to be Liara, who that person was. And then it like cuts to like three compatriots and it's like, oh, the Mass Effect story will continue. Um, I, I don't think that the Mass Effect story will continue this year or probably even next year but i want to see i want more i want more than like a concept cg trailer i want to know like surely they'd have the story set by now like i want to know this is definitely continuing shepherd's story and this is how this connects with andromeda as well because apparently it's supposed to even though that game is like 600 years in the future i want to know if shepherd is involved in any way or if you know like it's it's just the the crewmates and you know like why i should care that you know bioware said that they'd finished that shepherd story but now like we're going back into it like why like wh what are you going to present to me that that means that you've gone back on your word why are we going back into this world what is the what is the actual narrative reason for this to happen like i want to know those kind of things L like mm. less so than gameplay i have an idea of what to expect with gameplay and stuff but i want to know you know like and Andromeda was a little bit failed, but if you go back and play it, you will actually like it. I want to know why they're basically abandoning that to go back to, you know, Mass Effect 4 for lack of a better title of the game. I think you're, I think it seems like Mass Effect Remastered is selling really well. Uh, and it probably will, it's the perfect time to be like, all right, we hooked you all again. They've got people like me who didn't really play it the first time. Heaps of people are going back to it again. I think, as you just said, Andromeda got a bit of a bad rap when it launched. But people probably go to it now after playing Legendary Edition and actually enjoy it. Um, perfect time to say a new one's coming. It's a rare time where I think saying a new one's coming, but in two or three years is fine because you're just building on the hype of the game that you, the re-release game that you've just released, uh, letting people know and being honest about it. We don't, you know, it's not coming anytime soon. Um, it does have a bit of that, you know, like terminator we, we released the dodgy one without arnie in it and now we've gone back and oh yeah that one didn't really count like it's it's that type of feel that like oh yeah Andromeda, because it didn't sell well it didn't rate that well the safe thing to do is like you've all played shepherd story so it's you know it's uncharted four like they kind of made it seem like oh we've done with uncharted after three um and then there was a spin-off and then they were like actually there's there's four um it's yeah, it seems to be a done thing yeah and like no no spoilers but there's there's multiple endings of mass effect 3 uh it's from the trailer that ea and bio have put out it, it is very likely that one of the endings despite you know like three games of player choice and you carve your own you know hmm. path and you forge your own destiny it is very likely that one of the endings has to become canon for at least what was presented in that teaser to, to you know, like uh, become true. So like, that's also bad. Like there's all these, like, it's, it's, it's just like, are, are you doing this because you want money or are you doing this because you think that it's actually worthwhile? And well, well they want money. I'm, well, uh, yeah, like I'm jaded at this point, but like, I, I, I'm not excited for that then. I think as much it as might I am be, excited. It might be the only way they can see this successfully continuing the franchise. Cause there's no doubt after Andromeda, they were hoping to, you know, establish another trilogy or something. Um, I haven't really played it, but I assume story wise, that's what they were thinking of doing. Yeah, it's 600 years um, in the future. It's like the same kind of races and some new races thrown in. You should actually go play it. It's it's very, yeah, very well, good. I might get there after my hundreds of hours playing the first three. Well, and it's a perfect time to do it because there's nothing really to play in this year into Ratchet and Clank this month, which is yeah. like, it's fine if you are, but like we don't have a lot I of am. video games coming out is my uh, point. But if they think that's the only way they can like financially set it up to get another successful, well received, well big selling game, that's why they're doing it in the same way that like you know the Star Wars was very much finished after Return of the Jedi. Disney come in and they think, oh, we need to unravel this. I mean, they totally stuffed that, no doubt about that. But they they kind of had to be like, oh yeah, those things that you know that happen, like Palp's definitely dying. Uh, he didn't somehow. It'll be that same way, like you had a definitive ending or in this case, multiple choices, but they can kind of be like, oh, we're winding that back. Uh, this is what happened. Yeah. You know, even like something like Will and Grace ending and then coming back and like, oh, you know, that ending, which makes no sense to follow it up. That didn't happen. It's the only way you can continue something that you definitely ended. So yeah, it's but that sucks because this, this 
the the best part about the le- legendary edition um re-release of one two and three that just came out like i played one and i loved it it's like it's so star trek it hurts and then i kind of like finished that and then when two came out like i imported my save but there are some people that you meet just like mm. randomly and there's like some things that you like you just run into and you're like well like you're telling me that i chose a but i don't remember this like you mean nothing to me and this sucks and playing through legendary one two and three when i meet someone from one in three i'm like oh i know who you are i just did this thing like you know like two weeks ago yeah, where i yeah. did this blah 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 blah, and it's like it's perfect and it's it's so layered with your choices and it's like and i i, I honestly don't know how i would have finished mass effect 3 just based on all the stuff that like you know like they presented to you like you started you did this like in two two games ago and it's it, here's the here's the ramifications of it now like i have no idea how you would take all of that data and just make it into an ending that people would be happy about but then to like take whatever ending you've decided to choose and go like nah that didn't happen like that it's actually you know choice c like that's that sucks too we're talking well, about yeah. Mass Effect way too much. What else do you want to see? Oh, like news, uh, they've delisted a whole bunch of, of uh, Need for Speed games. Mm. And we'll a new Need for Speed is coming. Yeah, yeah like it's, that's confirmed. So we're going to get yeah. a new Need for Speed. Uh, we'll get like, a, do we need to talk about sports? No. Maybe, maybe, that will be there. Maybe NHL will get on current, you know, gen oh, proper I think that would happen this year. Who knows? Uh, yeah. But, so uh, <laughs> Star Wars? There's Star Wars stuff. They've still got a Star Wars license. I've got no idea. I can't even remember what's been announced. Is Motive still working on a Star Wars game? Yes. I've got no idea. Can't even remember. Uh, You'd think something is coming out. Um, Yeah, it's it's hard to know with EA. Like if they don't go that Mass Effect route and it it sounds like it's going to be future anyway, like what's their big game? They normally have more than just a Battlefield. I mean, I suppose Battlefield Need to Speed is a pretty big plus 10 sport games. It's a pretty big holiday lineup. Yeah. And they have Codemasters um, now. So we just, um, Hamish just previewed F1 2021. Oh, there you go. So like, the, the you know, like there's all the Codemasters games. Like maybe, is that, that that'd be a dirt. I don't think there'll be another dirt game. Dirt 5 just came out. But Unless like, they do like um, Dead Space remastered. They haven't been remastered yet, have they? That's a... No. If if Mass Effect sells as well as I assume it will, that's an obvious one they to follow should. with. Oh my God. I would play that in a heartbeat too. Actually, one and two. Three was garbage two is kind of garbage one was this dude just remake mass effect or mass effect just remake dead space one and just forget the other ones existed i would they be down won't for do that. that they would do a quick remaster <laughs> no remake you are correct um is that enough of ea then i suppose yeah i think that's it for ea then you've so, kind of got the rest the rest uh the rest include the likes of take two warner brothers square enix sega uh Koch, Koch, Koch. Uh, Koch Media, Bandai Namco, Activision, and Sega, which are confirmed attendees. And then, like, mm. we've already seen people kind of like piling on the likes of like Nacon and stuff. So, um, let's just go through the list as you've defined it, Ben. Take two, which like it's private division as well, but that's also sort of tied to it's very confusing at this point. Um, Grand Theft Auto 6, no, uh, I would love a teaser of it, but I think that's, I think. GTA 6 is coming out in 2024, is my guess. Um, I think they're miles away. We will probably see the, they've already announced it's coming to current gen. They'll probably see some level of difference, like what's different about it, because they're going to sell it for full price. I think a Switch Pro version is actually possible. Uh, that might be what they're going for. 2K, I would like a Mafia 4. Like, I really liked Mafia Definitive Edition. Yeah. I never played the first one, I thought it was great. Um, and as much as the cash in on like these definitive editions or remastered editions are, like they're strategic as well. Like EA has hmm. put out Mass See Effect because a new Mass Effect is coming. And and you'd assume that Mafia Definitive Edition is because uh, yeah. H- Hangar, th- Hangar 13, 13 yeah. is doing a new, like a, a, a better Mafia, like not a better Mafia. Mafia 3 That'd wasn't very received very well, but like, and, like a new Mafia. Well, one and yeah. two, uh, and one, one, one definitive edition. It's such a weird naming convention for those three games because uh, two was a proper kind of like remaster as we know it from 360 to the next generation. Looks better, up res, controls a bit better. Three definitive edition was just the same game that you already had with its Upscaled. DLC. Yeah. And then Mafia One definitive edition was a complete remake. Like they are three different levels of re releases with the same name. Bonk. And so good though. So good. Yeah, I, I never played it until. I never played it either. Release. I thought it was very good. Yeah. Um, 
There are rumors of another Bioshock, which may be exclusive to PlayStation or timed exclusive. Uh, I only saw that on NeoGAF as a thread title. I did not click it. So I have no more facts on that. Not a fact-based show. Um, I hope that's not the case, but it would be a classic Sony move if they wanted to do that. I feel like it'd be on PC as well. Yeah. Which I would play on PC, but you'd obviously play on PlayStation. Not that like it's a bad thing to play on PlayStation, but also I just hate that. I hate that mm. tactic. I hate it mm. right now. I just... Unless you own it, unless it's a first party thing, stop it. Stop exclusive content. Stop. Just stop it. Um, anything else from Take Two? There'll be a, 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 a well, whole bunch of sports games. There'll be a new NBA game. There'll be the, the new 2K PGA Tour with Tiger Woods by HB Studios, who did a really, really good golf game this year. So, like, I'm all for that. There have um, been rumors of another uh, bully game for ages. Uh, I think I could give that to someone that's not Rockstar. Like, farm that out to someone else to have a crack. I love Bully, and I would play a new Bully game in a heartbeat. It's like, I like, I like Grand Theft Auto, but I don't really like Grand Theft Auto. It's a little bit, like, too, like, hookers and blow for me, I think. And Bully mm. was, like, it hit that, like, they, You have got to spot. land the plane on the blimp. That is what GTA is all about. <laughs> You're not doing the right thing. Uh a reference back to like 2013 or something when I did that. Uh, Episode seven. I don't know. That's not true. Yeah. I, don't, I have no idea. I, it was grand final day and we watched it at your house. And I remember we celebrated. Um, that was pretty good. I don't know why I remember that of all things. Uh, who else are we? What's, who's next on the list? Uh, Warner Brothers. So there will be things like Gotham Knights and the Suicide Squad game from Rocksteady and Warner Brothers Montreal. And I did those completely in the wrong order, but you know what I mean? Um, hmm. There'll probably be some sort of Middle Earth game, I would imagine. They're leveraging all of their yes, assets. There will be. Uh, uh, I would love a Superman game. I would love a Flash game. None of these things are going to happen, but th- no this chance. is just me on my wish list. What do you think? Uh, well, the, the news is now that they're not getting split up. Like apparently the Warner Bros. Studios were going to get split up and some sold off, some kept. That's why people were thinking Xbox is going to try to buy Mortal Kombat essentially. Uh, to go up against Street Fighter on PlayStation, which seems to be exclusive there now. Um, but yeah, that's not happening anymore. So a new Mortal Kombat game would make sense with the movie having just come out. Yeah. I don't know. I've heard rumors of another realm created uh, like Marvel fighter in the vein of Injustice, but obviously with, mm, with Marvel okay. licensed people. I don't know if I, like, you hear rumors and you kind of just like file them away and like you have no idea if they're like legitimate or not at this point, but that'd be cool. <laughs> I think I think Injustice 2 kind of like was was dipping into the bottom of the barrel in terms of like DC yeah. characters. So it makes sense to maybe just like refresh with a, a new set. Else. Yeah. Um, they have their Harry Potter game, which was announced, but hasn't really gone anywhere. Yeah. I can't even remember what that's called. But um, Hogwarts something. Legacy? Legacy. Yeah. Do, do you get to go mess about in Hogwarts as your own character game? Ta-da. That'll probably be shown um yeah who's next uh square enix who we've heard rumors of a uh, guardians of the galaxy game in the vein of avengers but since avengers is shit uh, i hope they don't do that mm, but that makes sense thing. it would be an easy follow the formula uh i assume avengers sold pretty well and it was okay like it, it did its job um but it just it wasn't what it could have been it was it seemed kind of rushed out a bit uh it should have been a single player game that didn't need the yeah yeah it was absolutely i much prefer to play a single player and it would have been better like they would just we need to hammer this into a a, you know round peg square hole it's a service it's we're gonna live for years on this don't just make it they probably rushed out guardians of the galaxy if that's coming this year unless they're just announcing it and that's coming next year then it might still have hope well and you'd almost be better off just introducing those characters in Avengers and trying to make Avengers better. So maybe they'll do mm. that. Um, Crystal Dynamics has just opened up a new studio in Austin. So it seems like they'll probably, like, and this is, we don't know, but it seems like they'll offload Avengers to Austin and Crystal Dynamics Good proper, thing. who who do like Tomb Raider and stuff, will d- do something new. Maybe a new Tomb Raider, maybe a new IP. Who knows? I think they're so. having a break from Tomb Raider, but it's going to be back pretty soon. Like it was so successful and it Deus might be. Ex. I, they, they could probably do a Deus Ex game pretty well. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, it's, they, they're they probably going to show Resident Evil 7 re, it's not called remastered, but it basically is a PS5. Unless Sony want to keep that in their back pocket. Are they going to Rip. show us part two ever? 
Resident Evil 7. Uh, Final but, Fantasy 7, okay. sorry. Not Resident Evil. <laughs> I was so confused. Yeah. That makes more sense. Yeah. yeah. Um, or are they going to show us Final Fantasy 16 Deus Ex Machina Golden Stone yeah. Bathtub Edition? Probably. I don't know. Anything else with Square Enix? I don't think so. There'll be some know. Japanese game I never heard of. Just Cause, maybe? No. Uh, I hope not. It's kind of died off. Four so is not great. Uh, I can't think of anything else off the top of my head. Uh, Sega. The big announcement. We've been bought by Microsoft. Our new overlords. Uh, Done. <laughs> that we're rumor gonna, will not go we're, away. We're still going to make Sonic games. Uh, Koch Media. They have things like... Oh God, what? Um, they time have all time the Splitters. Saints oh, Row. Uh, I would like a new Saints Row that's like the first two. That's like not three, like ridiculously stupid and hokey. Three went weird and then four went super weird. Yeah. One and two are actually uh, more normal and they're, they're probably they're like, better. They're like San Andreas clones, yeah. basically. And like, yeah. that's not a bad thing because they did it well. But Well, no then... one else does that type of game anymore. Not even Rockstar. They seem to <laughs> stop making them. So there's a market there. Uh, you don't need to go full on the president's an alien, whatever happened in four. Uh, yes. So yeah, I would like that, but don't know if that will happen. They have a bunch of like failed THQ franchises. I don't think any of those, like they have dark sides and stuff, I think. Yeah. Um, I know more yeah. than I can let on. I shouldn't have even said okay. that. Then I shouldn't we, have said that. We probably can't talk about it. <laughs> Correct. Let's move on. Uh, Bandai Namco, uh, which you are probably better suited to talk about because it's very West or Eastern influence things like uh, Dragon Ball, Kakarot um, and stuff that I just don't get, Kakarot. to be honest. Kakarot. Um, yeah, well, that was a good game. I, it could have been better, but it was, it was pretty good. They've just released more DLC, I think. So unless they go a full sequel, I'm not sure where that's going. Yeah. Um, they have the Dark Pictures anthology. I can't remember where we're up to. We had like three uh, of those. House of Ashes will be the third after Man of Medan and Little Hope. And it's starring mm. Ashley Tisdale of High School Musical fame. Go and look at my preview on the website. So we're probably just going to see that one as opposed to of another one. Yeah. Too it comes out. One. I can't remember when it comes out. This year sometime. I don't know if they have yeah. a release date set. Uh, Scarlet Nexus comes out at the end of the month. So technically it would be after the whatever presentation band i have so i'm sure that would feature in in some way mm. shape or form um i'm happy to move on if you are yeah that's probably it activision blizzard i don't think they'll show much if they, if they haven't shown cod beforehand or they don't pop up with it um last so two e three ago last time there was an e3 they showed crash tag team racing but so that's their remasters done basically they've done all the crashes and all the spiros there's not a lot more from that era to redo and, and tony, done hawk. tony hawk yep tony hawk three plus four could happen potentially um Boo. maybe uh, maybe a new tony hawk game that's a, that's a rumor we'll have a new tony hawk game yeah well that instead, would actually instead of remaster. it would make sense and like it's new because i think they kind of like fed in new characters new contemporary characters into Probably. into the remake remaster Remake. I hope they have all, like old man current Tony Hawk. Like when you see his video, it's like, man, I'm doing my last ever 720. And he's like, so oh. strong. Yeah. And then it's like, he gets up with the camera. It's like, that's my last one ever. I hope we get that level. Like he can play his old Tony too. You have a um, really, really bad fall. And he's like, no, I'm done. I'm not getting up. Turn off the timer. We're done. This I mean, sucks. I say that, but like the, like one time he even goes up the skate ramp. I'm like, I, I would just die if I tried. Oh, yeah. He's, 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 still, he's still a better athlete yeah. than you or I are. And he probably has all his teeth. And I have a, have uh, a fake tooth. I don't um, think so. I think that's it in terms of, I guess, the, the general E3 the main players. roster. Yeah. Mm. So we've talked about Sony already. We've talked like who kind of count, but don't. Um, uh, you have, you want to, you want us to decide upon three things, I guess each that will definitely happen at mm. E3. And are we playing this safe or are we going to go like insane? Like oh, saying, well. saying Microsoft is going to talk about Halo Infinite. Of course let's, that's going to happen, but does that yeah. count? Well, let's see how, how good you come across after E3, depending on like, if you get the, you can go safe if you like, but if you get something totally obscure, uh, we'll put one rule on this. If you know anything in advance, you can't go with that. I can't talk about Koch Media then. Um, that's all I know, honestly. Uh, I will go 
first dumbly because you've set this goal, but I'm just going to start yeah, talking. About That's yeah. stupid of me. Um, right. I think we're going to get a release date for Psychonauts 2 from Microsoft. Mm -hmm. that's that's like not a safe bet but i think it's a it's a safe ish bet if that makes sense uh i think we are going to get a, a switch step 1.5 or pro yes. or whatever you want to call it. i think that's going to happen which is probably probably too safe to be honest uh oh because your next question is three things that definitely won't happen but should i'm gonna say things that will definitely happen even though it's probably more the other category ubisoft is going to announce a new splinter cell game oh that would be great i think uh, that's more hope than than actual knowledge but that's fine whatever what do you think is going to definitely I'm, happen i'm going to twist the one that you said is too safe into how it's going to be received i think fans are going to absolutely pan halo infinite again just because it's too late now like it's and when i say fans i mean morons on twitter and forums actual xbox fans probably will like it but i think it's still going to get a oh we've waited another year and it still looks bad i think it's just it's not going to ever shake that tag now i hope then when it releases it is great but I think it's going to be, unless they show some amazing looking gameplay, I just don't see how they're going to wind back what they've done now. Uh, if they can somehow PR their way out of it, that'd be great. Um, I think we're going to see, hopefully, a Mario Galaxy, uh, not Galaxy, Mario Odyssey sequel, which is very unusual for Nintendo. They, they've only ever done a sequel once, which was Galaxy, why I mixed it up. Um, yep. But they... They surely have heaps more ideas on that. If the Switch is going to last as long as they want, I think a, a second game on the same console makes a lot of sense. Um, and it was so perfectly built for just like handhelds. Like that's, yeah. it's it's decidedly Mario, obviously, but it's also decidedly like, just like, this is why the Switch is good. Mm. Anyway, sorry, that's two um, things. I think there's a chance that Ubisoft come out and say, there is no Assassin's Creed this year because what we've talked about saying it's just, it's so hard to develop games. And they had their last two big successes, I think are Origins and uh, Valhalla. Odyssey good too, but they were massively successful because they had a year off beforehand, both of them. And so I think they haven't done it where they've had one year off, one game out, then a year off again. If they came out and just said straight away, we're given like an expansion to Valhalla, but we're not doing a new game this year. I would actually be very happy with that. Um, and like Odyssey was one of my favorite Assassin's Creeds, full stop. And I, I did, I did my Ubisoft thing where I like played it for a long while and then kind of just like went, this is, there's, I, I've, I've played for 50 million hours and I've done like 30% of this damn game. I'm just going to like let it alone for a while. And I came back in and I finished and then I went and did all the DLC and it was amazing. And I just took my time with it. And if they just kind of pad out like decent chunks of Valhalla stuff I would be happy mm. I don't know if that's going to happen because of like bank rolls and stuff but who knows uh three things that definitely won't happen but should I'm gonna hedge my bets and say Ubisoft will announce this one just so <laughs> <laughs> well that should I agree that should happen well I don't think it's gonna I so I'm just I'm, it's both categories that's done um things that definitely won't happen but should uh, Sony will announce that they're no longer going to charge uh, developers for implementing crossplay in PlayStation Ooh. titles. Mm. Uh, and I'll also settle for PlayStation deciding that they will not, you know, like pay people a ridiculous amount of money to have console exclusives or, or, or console DLC exclusives. Uh, three things that definitely sh won't happen, but should. This is hard. Because it's like, you know, it's not going to happen and you're trying to like rewrite the industry. Um, oh, geez. I'll tell you what, I'll let you think about it. I'll jump in with I got that. it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay. NHL 22 is going to be on Frostbite alongside the other uh, EA sports games and not left in the past in the EA Ignite engine. That's I, I think NHL goes to Frostbite and the other sport games move on to something else. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they go back to EA Ignite because mm. it's more stable. Like, ah, that's we're going right. to Unreal Engine 3 or 2 or 1. We'll just go back to Unreal Engine proper. Anyway, mm. that's mine. Sorry, I cut you off. Uh, I think Nintendo announced something good about Nintendo Switch Online. We're going to give you some level of value, either 
hey, a bunch more games are coming to it for 64 or GameCube or whatever, or it couldn't run GameCube, but Game Boy Advance or whatever, instead of just this middling little pathetic service of here's like three garbage NES games every month, uh, turn it into something valuable. They absolutely should. They've got like a 900 million install, 90 million install base of Switch owners. Give them something useful there. They just, they can't get on board with online. Um, Sony, just to come back and say we're in E3 again. Like, I know they were like, we're out, we don't care. They're absolutely going to do a fake version of this where they're like, oh, here's a state of play in July. They should just be like, oh, you know what? We're all, we've had a bad time as an industry. We're going to come back and join the band again. Um, for some reason, they there was something happened behind the scenes where they didn't like the deal they were getting or something or other. So they kind of stormed out like, you know, we've left this team. We're getting a better roster somewhere else. Like, I don't know. It would be a great time for, since it's not a really three for them to come back and say, oh, we're joining in, even if they did it quietly and they just said, oh, yeah, we're doing a thing in E3 week. Um, yeah. I don't think that's really going to happen, though. Um, and I would love to see whatever this year's COD is. I don't think it is going to happen. If they want to compete against Battlefield, perfect time to do it. But something's gone wrong there. We've discussed it before. Don't know what's happening. Clearly, it's not ready. Um, perfect time for DICE now to kind of put the stake in a little bit and say, look at our amazing game. So, um, yeah, it's, DICE should capitalize on that this year. Yeah. Well, I think we're accurate on our things that will definitely happen. And I think we were like reaching for the stars on, and that latter half. But to a degree, well, I mean, if we were reaching for the stars, we would say Xbox announced first party game coming out this year uh, actually to deliver some first party AAA games. Now that's too much of a reach. I don't see that happening. It would be true. Besides Halo, I mean. Um, yeah. It well, would be actually amazing if they announced a new game we didn't know about and it was coming out within the next 12 months. That would be mind-blowing. And I don't, I don't mean a Battletoads bleeding edge level. I mean like a real AAA level. The only one that that could be would be, like the Coalition's been around for a while, but they've still been hiring for a good portion of that time but like the coalition maybe in a stretch has been around for long enough that they could pull perfect dark out of their butts but i don't like i don't think so but like that's probably the only one that's too similar to halo to put it up against that anyway i suppose the one is if there is a for the horizon 5 that hasn't been announced and it can't like they used to oh, yeah, that's, those at e3 that'll... and they were out a few months later like i still don't think that will happen though like i think I'm... no it's been a while I think you're right. I think yeah. you're right. Because I I went to when you went to E three after I did. Did I go to 2017 and you went to 2018? I went to 19. Then I went to 18, and mm. I was talking to Playground about Forza Horizon. Then, so it's been a couple of years at least. But you would have been seeing which one did you? That see would that would have been four. That was four. So it's been. We were talking because we were talking about weather. Yeah, I, you know what? I think you're right. I think if we get a, if we get a this year game, it'll be Horizon five. And and I hope so because I don't want it to be Forza Motorsport because like I don't really care about Forza Motorsport because they're kind of boring and I like the like I like the the good arcadey games from mm. that franchise. Um, we didn't do it last day last part. Uh, we did the week in delays and it's still the same week technically. So it's the week in actual release dates. And we have two wow solid release dates that one's been extended from before and one. Has, has definitely been extended from before, but uh, do you want to grace us with, with your knowledge? Uh, well, do not bet on these actually happening because I have a strong suspicion that these are going to appear on this show again in this week in delays. <laughs> but for now, they're in this week in actual releases, and that is Far Cry 6 is coming out apparently on the 7th of October this year. And super weirdly, Dying Light 2 is coming out on the 7th of December. That seems far away to be announced in that date now. Also unusual to release in like... Early December versus late November doesn't it's, seem like much, but in the game world, it seems to be huge. So it's also been in development for years and years and years. And I was I like, saw, I was pretty much convinced it wasn't going to come out. So I saw this at E3 like a, a hands off demo in 2019. So I think I even may have seen it at Gamescom the year before. Like it was, this I been definitely saw it in 2018 at E3. Yeah. So yeah. Um, it looked, but it good looks then. really good. <laughs> Yeah, look good then. It looked good that, then. But, it looks really good now, but like that's on like a high end PC. So who, like, I don't know, who knows? I do find it just weird that they're announcing like now, yep, December. Like that, that early December week is normally reserved for something which was meant to come out in like October and got delayed like five weeks. So yeah. we'll see. 
may, there'll maybe be a cod that gets kicked back to that week and then who knows what diet Knight's going to do um mm. that's enough for this iteration before we get into e3 um i think we'll try to do a couple podcasts next week during e3 we'll see how we go we'll maybe bring in some special guests because i'm going to be wrecked you you're you that said you're gonna, good you said you're gonna sleep during these press yeah. conferences but i'm gonna I get might up. watch one i might watch Ugh. i'll watch xbox with you well we'll see how we go yeah. uh if you want me i'm on survivor s right au on social medias ben what are uh, you on i am ben salter on underscore salter actually on twitter that's me and the current face of the south australian tourism campaign yeah. for wineries uh maybe i'll just chuck a picture up on somewhere yeah. if, if, if ben permits wood smoked well you're a stock wine. photo i don't even have to ask you i can just put it up now because it's, apparently i just you have no rights and i'll just throw up the photo wherever i choose so i will annoying. do that Look on Survivor and you can see Ben and his friends not in lockdown, hanging out, having a glass of wine. Mm. And if you need me, I'll just be in the house for at least another week. Blech. Have a good time. See you in the craziness of E3 2021. I'm looking forward to it. The, the, the at-home virtual E3 is going to be like old school times before we used to actually go. The at-home watch it E3. That's it. I'm tired just thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>